The following program is video supplemental instruction. VSI is brought to you by the Teaching Center, UF's Learning Support Center, www.teachingcenter.ufl.edu. acceleration of the string if it is pulled with force F is equal to 10 newtons. I've already wrote, written out the givens and the diagram and what we're looking for. This is what, you, this is what I always do and what you should always do. But I uh, already wrote that up here. So we're looking for lin linear acceleration. We have inertia, we have a force, we have mass, we have a whole bunch of stuff. First of all, first and foremost, let's change this R. Let's get rid of it. R is equal to 0 0.03 meters. Just don't ever keep anything in centimeters. It's just not a good idea. So, where do we start? Okay. Well, inertia, we see that there's a wheel turning and then there's a linear force. With, usually with the wheel turning, we think torque. And that's not a wrong thought. We do need to think torque in this equation. So torque is equal to force times radius, right? We have the force, 10 newtons times the radius, 0 0.03 meters. So we actually have the torque equal to 0 0.3 newtons per meter, or newtons times meters. So, that means we already know a whole lot. We already know a whole lot. Now, what can we do from here? We have this inertia. We're looking for linear acceleration. Torque doesn't really, we can't just, torque doesn't really relate to linear acceleration when dealing with a rotating object. That, for that, we're going to have to find out, oh wait, torque has a second equation where it's inertia times alpha. And alpha is rotational acceleration. And the relation between alpha and ex linear acceleration, A, is that alpha is equal to A over R. So, now we know the value for T, right? You know the value for T, and we know, uh, and we know alpha. We've we've got the proper value for acceleration plugged into it, and we know inertia. So let's try and figure this out. Torque is equal to 0.3, and it's also equal to inertia times alpha. So we have one half. mr squared times a over r. Okay? Now that means we have one half times two kilograms times 0 0.03 meters squared times alpha over 0 0.03 meters is equal to 0 0.3 newtons times meters. As you see, this is an equation that has all numbers except for one variable. Easily solvable. So you end up with A is equal to, what's the answer? A is equal to 10 meters per second squared. That is the correct answer. And it ends up being because this is multiplied by this, one of these uh, uh, that gets canceled out. One half times two is equal to, uh, that cancels out. So then you have 0.3 times alpha, or times A, not alpha, 
And if you remember right, this 0.3 has 10 times 0.3 meters, 0.03 meters. So this would cancel out with that, and you get A is equal to 10. But you can just do the math either way. The Teaching Center, UF's Learning Support Center, www.teachingcenter.ufl.edu.